What's up, guys? Face man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Deck. Appreciate you guys coming by. Like the video if you haven't yet. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the page and hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons and my channel members. May your finances be blessed, and may you have many wives. Have some freaking sympathy on me, if you will. My arm is still in a sling. I tore a tendon off. Uh, bench pressing, so I've got some surgery, and I'll be in this sling for the next four weeks, huh? <coughs> so appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your support. So, in this video, I have a similar setup. In fact, I didn't change any variables outside of two with this build. So I have a different weapon, and I have a different helm. And this is my Fury slash Feral Rage Druid. So right here, I have a Reaper's Toll, and I decided to keep it kind of budget, all right? This isn't a perfect Reaper's Toll. It's pretty close. Uh, at max, they can reach 240 enhanced damage. This is 233. And they can, at max, reach 15 life stone per hit, and this one is 14. So Reaper's Toll, I think they swing it pretty fast, but I don't know that for sure. It looks like it does have a very fast attack speed here with the Shale Rune, so I'm not sure if I had that before I put the Shale Rune in it or not. And I haven't checked the breakpoints, so in just a moment here, we're going to see how fast this guy can actually attack. But the Decrepify is why I like this thing, obviously. And uh, my Mercenary is using one as well. And basically, how I'm looking at it right now is the more the merrier. It's only a level 1 Decrepify, so it has a very small radius of effect. So if we're both casting it, it's going to be pretty epic and defensive. Uh, which is primarily why I want Reaper's Toll. And I might try this in an Ethereal one, and I might try this with a Tomb Reaver as well, which is going to be even better. Uh, by far, I'm quite sure of it, but we'll wait and see. <clears throat> so of course it has Ignores Target's Defense, some cold damage, that epic Life Leech that I stated, and 33% chance of Deadly Strike. Then I have IK Gauntlets, alright? This is some weird IK hybrid kind of budget sort of build. So I put these on because of the nice stats you get. You get 10 life stolen per hit, 25 increased attack speed, and 250 attack rating with the set. And the nice uh, stats that the belt, gloves, and boots already give. 31 lightning res here, uh, 28 fire, the nice strength bonus, faster hit recovery. So some pretty nice mods, fire and cold res, more faster hit recovery. Uh, some magic vine. So I'm actually hitting massive diminishing returns now that I switched out the maul. Uh, with the maul on, you have all IK except for one part, and the benefits were pretty damn nice. But uh, I can see now we're actually losing a lot of the benefits, so uh, I might as well start switching it out at this point and put on Laying of Hands gloves. Uh, maybe for budget I could put on Durial Shell or something, then I get a Carry on Wind for the Life Leech. And then I have Mantled Heal here for Mana Leech, and of course right now I have a Raven Bross for Cannot Be Frozen. High Lords for the Deadly Strike. 20 IES, 1 to all skills, lightning res, all that stuff. And his res are pretty damn high. Uh, all are maxed except for cold res. And check this out. 35% chance of crushing blow, 65 IES, and 81% chance of deadly strike. And I'm thinking the droid, the melee droid specifically, has an edge when it comes to deadly strike. Because unlike the barbarian, he doesn't have a deadly strike or a critical strike implemented into his skills. So if you can get it on gear, uh, it might take you a little further. It's kind of what I'm thinking here. But check this out. I maxed out... Uh, I <coughs> no, I didn't. Oh my god. Dumbass. Okay, I did max out rabies. Uh, let, me, uh, let me respect this guy. So my last video, I had a maxed out rabies. Uh, it's not a huge deal. You know what? To keep shit consistent, I'm not going to respec. Because I'm not even using rabies. I'm using Feral Rage. I just maxed out the wrong one. Okay, so I did max out Fury, however. So, five hits. Unfortunately, doesn't have a, a synergy, so I'm not really affected in that way. 508% damage increase. 290 attack rating. percent, And uh, it's kind of like Zeal, only for the droid. I maxed out Grizzly, but I'm thinking uh, differently about this now, because uh, he pretty much sucks. 1,600 damage at level 25. I really wasn't worth it. Put a few points into Oak Sage. And that's it. 
So let's see how well he fares in the Frigid Highlands. So we get there. I uh, shape shift into Wolfie. Unfortunately, you can't teleport as Wolfie. All right, so we're going to be casting uh, a lot of. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look how fast he attacks! Yeah, we're going to be casting a lot of crap. Uh, the mercenary is wearing an ethereal treachery, a G face, and an ethereal reaper stone. Now check out the difference there: seventeen seventeen max versus. 469 max, so a massive increase. Uh, and of course, it is a perfect one, so it also has the 7% uh, difference in uh, enhanced damage on it uh, compared to mine. But, uh, oh my god, this is uh, this is pretty. Holy shit. All right, I think this is, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure this is better than what I was dealing with earlier. Although I did put on a G face now, uh, which I probably shouldn't have done that. It's kind of cheating. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's get let's go against Fatty now. Look at that! Holy freaking toll! Ooh, what is this? Style points! Make a grief in that sucker! Okay, let's see how well he fares in the cast sanctuary. So here's what I have to deal with. I have a Nadja's staff on switch, and of course when you're woofy you can't teleport, but fortunately every time you change axe, you transfer out of woofy form. So you don't even have to undo it uh, in many occasions. But yeah, it's uh, it, w it would be helpful if Wolfie could teleport. Can Wolfie cast stuff? Let's see if Wolfie can cast stuff. Yeah, Wolfie can cast stuff, okay. Uh, just not teleport, but uh, fortunately it looks like he can raise his summons. Okay, so let's get a couple charges up with that one point Feral Rage, and then I hold the right click. Look at all the... Oh my god! It doesn't even have to cast! Oh my goodness! Um, okay, uh, apparently he swings this a hell of a lot faster than he swings the mauls. And uh, I feel like I knew that going into it. The droid, he really does favor sights. Uh, and threshers, obviously. So, uh, I don't know about giant threshers and all that. I guess it's even better. But he loves them size and shit. Uh, does he love pull arms equally? I'm not sure. Uh, Tomb Raver, what is that? It's a cryptic axe. Oh my god! Uh, maybe this just isn't fair uh, for research purposes. I, I probably should have tried uh, IK set with G face as well. This is just cray cray. Okay, let's go up to Mr. Thicky. Uh, took care of him pretty. pretty oh my goodness! Uh, two elites! Two elites! Two elites! We'll go for the third elite. Oh my god! Or, uh, boss, rather. Here we go. Champion. Gee, freaking whiz! You kidding me, man? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, that's pretty impressive, I would say. Oh my god, I need to make one of these. Uh, from the start, spiritual, spiritual journey. Hell yeah! Uh, I need to pursue the spiritual journey with one of these guys. But, I mean, I don't know how, here we go, fast road walk, like that. I don't know how well they uh, perform, like from the get-go, from the ghetto, and uh, from the ghetto, do they uh, do they even do they even lift? Uh, meaning, do the summons even lift? Like, can can they are they actually viable in normal mode? Is what I'm really curious to find out. So stay tuned for that. I will probably do uh, more live streams with a summon melee hybrid druid because i'm quite curious to see how well they perform there we go nice thick armor right there nice thick uh four socketed armor i just don't oh my god i think i actually had that a 469 i'm mean, style points for the number for one but that's pretty damn hot oh it's 459 okay yeah i didn't think that could roll 469 that's a very high roll uh, for a uh, uh for a rim hide right there okay so hold the right click Look at all the decrepify! Oh my god! Uh, now, what's going to be interesting is, uh, with Tomb Raver, I think I'm going to try to pair it... Well, I'll have to experiment. Uh, legend has it that Atma's Amulet actually works out quite well with Tomb Raver. I think it's because you can hit max breakpoint for the IIS quite easily, so you don't really need high loads for that. Uh, if you build it correctly. And uh, then you might as well have uh, Atmos, but of course you will be missing out on the very nice deadly strike. 
Uh, granted, I might be wearing Gore Riders at this point, because I'm finding IK set is just diminishing returns right now. So I'll get uh, Deadly Strike from Gore Riders, and I'm, I'm straight up cheating. I'm putting two low runes in the Tomb Reaver. So that shit's already going to have 40 uh, Deadly Strike right there, plus the 15, that's 55. Uh, plus another 15 from G Phase, right? So what is that, 70? 70 Deadly Strike right there? Uh, obviously High Lords would help pop you off. Oh, you'll actually be a little bit beyond max, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess uh, better beyond than below. So you'll be Deadly Striking every freaking hit if you have High Lords on. But uh, aside from that, you might want to try Atmos, which I'm curious. Uh, the problem is that has a very low chance of casting uh, amp damage compared to what you get from uh, Reaper's Toll and Decrepify. Even though I will have the same Mercenary. Oh my god! Holy toad! We gotta get this. Let's check this out. Gee whiz! It's destroying! Hey, let me try it again. Ah, damn! If you guys really like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Alright, here's Satan. Let's get a hit in. What's my attack rating like? Pretty, It's pretty low. Yeah, after I switched out Jalal's, I actually had a lot better... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! That was, uh, that was something right there. That was something right there. Alright, let's try out the, uh... Let's try out the trav right there. So again, there's the stats, a bunch of strength and shit uh, for research purposes. You guys might want to jot that down, little research notepads and all that bullshit. Uh, maybe I'll release that as a product, a little Ice Man, <laughs> the Ice Man like Research Institute journal or some shit. Uh, I actually have a journal. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't write dumb soy boy bullshit in it. I, uh, I just write my daily activities in it. You know, I don't really poetry and all that dumb shit. I write, uh, just like, am I gonna make a video today? Uh, am I going to get 10,000 steps today? You know, things like that. Oh, that's like a, a great idea. That's, damn, that's a good idea. Release that as a product. Hell yeah. Uh, on my uh, website, Merchandise website, link in the description below. Oh my god. I might as well turn this shit up. Okay. Uh, that was amazing. Here, one more time. I'm going to do the Frigid Highlands on Players 8, alright? Let's turn it on Players 8. And I gotta try the Bridget Highlands, because this guy's just destroying shit. Alright. Alright, so with the Mercenary's Might, my Max Out Fury is doing 5100 max. And uh, just wait for the next video when I put on that Ethereal Tomb Reaver. Uh, you guys are gonna see how much more damage that shit does. So, okay. Now let me go to the Bridget Highlands, and we'll give this a shot on Player's 8 difficulty. Oh my goodness! He's a, look at this. Oh, I didn't even turn into wolf. All right, now I'm now I'm wolf. Okay, okay, yep, yep, pretty damn good. Uh, better than I've seen of any barbarian. Oh my god, this is actually viable. Look at this. Look at this. Once you get to crepify on him, yeah, the the attack rating could be a little better. Oh my god. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Jeez, look how fast he attacks! Uh, I'm not sure if this is maxed out. Alright, I gotta do the trav like this. I gotta do the trav right there. Yeah, I don't know. Is this? Ah, ah. That's why this is the research institution, because we's fixing to find out, right? Alright, we're, we're fixing to find this out. Uh, we're gonna find out uh, the breakpoints of the attack rate, but just not in this video. Come on! Look at that! Oh my god! Okay, it's demolishing! Jeez! Woo! A wand! Tomb wand. Tome wand. Tomb wand. Tome wand. Which one is that? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, here's stone skin. Uh, it takes takes care of him quite well. His homie's gonna... His, oh, his shit! Uh, his homies are really healing him up. But that's fine. You gotta take out the weak ones first. Uh, cause the weak ones can heal too. Take out the little guys. Look at that, my mercenary! Holy shit! 4400 damage. And he's attacking pretty fast. Uh, because of all the IS 
uh, all the IS things he has going on. So hot damn! Uh, what do you guys say about that? Let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty impressed, alright? So, like the video, subscribe to the page, check out the Research Institution playlist uh, up on the top corner of the screen, and I'll check y'all out later. Peace be with you.